All right, let's uh, let's try to do this for like the ninth time ever. Hey, how's it going, Wu Clan? So you may have noticed that I am not in the same study room that I was in the intro video. That is because I've uh, moved back to school, and this is where I'm living now. So being in university, oftentimes students have a lot of trouble motivating. So I thought I'd start a mini series, an eight part series on motivation so that you and I can start this school year off right. Let's go. Motivation. <laughs> so motivation. No more making excuses, no more putting it off till tomorrow. Okay, you know what, to be honest guys, I'm actually using a script right now because I thought that might make it easier, but you know, I'm just gonna freehand this. So, today I actually want to talk about motivation and let me share with you a little story. For the past three, four years of um, me being in university, I've actually haven't had the most success in academics because I've been Mo unmotivated, right? But what does motivation mean? So in my opinion, motivation is actually short-term. Uh, like for example, my friend brought this up the other day. Uh, she was telling me how she was feeling unmotivated for school and then I was like, oh, you know what, you should um, do this. And then she said, but motivation is short-lived and it's kind of like when you see a fitness model and you suddenly have the urge to go work out and you know go get really fit but then after a short while if it's not a goal that you actually have you'll find that that kind of will to go work out every day actually diminishes and I think that's the same for school um, like at the beginning of the term you might be like oh yeah I'm gonna kill the semester I'm gonna you know do all the readings do all the notes um, study for every test I'm gonna get perfect on everything but then as the term goes on, you just find yourself slowly losing motivation, you're just like, oh, I can't do this anymore. You know, I'm so done with school. And that's what I wanted to kind of start this series for, because I don't want there to just be short-term motivation for you guys. I want you, both you and I, to have long-term motivation for long-term success to do well, to actually do well throughout the school year. So here is the first video which is all about goals. Now, goals are meant to kind of give us an objective to work towards, but I think that it has to actually be a goal that you desire. You desire so much that you will stop at nothing to get it. Because a lot of people, when they say, oh yeah, I have goals, I have my goal this term is to uh, get an A in this class and you know sometimes they do but sometimes they don't because throughout the term like that goal that that kind of oh, that that will to you know just do everything after a while you get kind of bored of it or you get kind of tired from it and you just want to take a break and then that break escalates and it just goes downhill from there but the smart people what I've noticed, of course, but uh, they have goals, not big goals, they make small little goals each and every day. So for example, like uh, the goal today could be to make this video, right? But tomorrow my goal could be like to do all the readings for a specific course or to catch up on the readings that I missed yesterday or something, right? And I think little by little, as long as we complete these mini goals, the overall goal won't be so out of reach, right? Because it's usually the night before the exam, night before the test, and it's just, uh, my goal is just to get a 70 or an 80, right? And I just study all night. And then when you don't get that, you get a sad, but if you work towards it throughout the term, eventually that big goal won't seem so big anymore. I actually, uh, made a little kind of poster thing over there which is uh, kind of related to what I'm doing now which is it says 
Tor. Dreams without goals are just dreams. Always have goals. So what does that mean? Dreams without goals are just dreams. So I didn't start this YouTube channel until this year, but it's something I've always wanted to do. It's always been a dream, but it wasn't until I started having things to do, I started creating these mini goals for myself to do, that it actually amounted to anything, that it, I could actually turn my talking into content that I can put up on the internet for people. And I don't really have any idea how big it'll go, but at least it's me fulfilling something that I've always wanted to do. It's me putting goals for the dreams I once had so that I can go out and achieve them. And I think ever since then, ever since I've set the, these kind of goals for myself, ever since I started making a checklist of things that I want to get accomplished every day and I do them, I've been a much happier person. Even though my schedule's packed always, I've been a more positive person and I've just generally been more happy. And I think that's very important, especially with university students. So that'll be the video for today. Remember to always have goals for everything you do and I'll see you in the next one, Clan. Bye.